Hey everyone, Joshua with Daily Mountain Bike Rider here. Today is one of those days it's hard not to get excited for. And that is because today is new bike day for me, which I'm super stoked about. Now, it's early in the morning and a lot of new bike days mean a box is coming to your door from UPS or the delivery man. But for me, living in the Pacific Northwest, there is three huge bike companies that are right in the area. So instead of waiting for my delivery to come, I'm going to pick up my bike. So without further ado, let's go. So I'm at the gas station, filling up with gas almost to the bike shop. And I should probably tell you that there's three different bikes I've been looking at. And all of them fall into the category of long travel 29ers. So the first bike I've been looking at is the new 2018 Kona Process 153 29er. Kona totally redid their Process 153 line and added this sweet long travel 29er bike. It has 160 millimeters of travel on the front and 153 in the back. The second bike I've been looking at is the Transition Sentinel. This is also new for 2018. It has 160 millimeters of travel in the front and 140 in the back. And it's built around their new SBG, which is Speed Balance Geometry Design, which means the fork is offset and the rest of the bike's geometry is, uh, matches that. And then the third bike I've been looking at, it's kind of a pipe dream, but it's called uh, the Evil Reckoning. Now, this bike has been on the market for the last two years, but anybody who's ridden one and every review I've seen has just raved about it. All three of these companies are in the Washington State area. All of them are just a drive away from my home. So I want you to do two things for me. Number one, do me a huge favor and like this video. Hit the like button and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Doing that little thing helps me out immensely. And I know you're having fun watching this. I know you're curious what bike I'm gonna get. So help me out first, all right, do that. All right, number two is in the comments, write down which bike, which bike you think I'm gonna buy. Now, you don't know yet, and uh, based on what you know about me so far, maybe about the car I drive or the clothes I wear, what bike do you think I'm gonna buy? Do you think I'm a process guy? Do you think I'm a Sentinel guy? Or maybe do you think I'm the tried and true reckoning guy? Put it in the comments and let's see if you get it right. And then afterwards, you can put another comment and tell me what you think about the bike I chose. All right, let's get over there. All right, we are here at the headquarters. I'm gonna go pick up my bike. I am so stoked. I'm not gonna bring you guys in with me, but I'll show you the box when I come on out. All right, so I got the bike. I'm stoked, it's right behind me. Came in two boxes, one for the frame, and then one for all the components it comes with. So, headed up home, you're gonna see me unload it, and I can't wait to show it to you. All right, guys, I am back. I'm back with my bike, and like I said, I have two boxes. One of the boxes is the frame, and I'm gonna wait to pull that out, because once I slide it out, you're gonna know exactly what bike I got. But the other one has the fork, and the cranks, and all the components that go along with the frame. So let me grab that, and then you can see if you can tell by the components which 29er I got. Here is my box of components. And the funniest part about it is this thing is probably twice or three times as heavy as the frame. Let's cut into this, and believe it or not, I haven't looked at anything, or I have no idea really um, how this box is set up or what's in here, and so you guys are seeing this first with me. Ooh, see some tires. Got a box here. Like this. Oops. That is the crank, so keep that wrapped up for now. Oh, it's like all stuck together in here. This box has the dropper seat posts, a dork disc it looks like, handlebars, probably grips and everything else in the cockpit, and a saddle. You really know how to pack this crap. Oh gosh. It's like giving birth. Oh, well, there's the fork. Hopefully it didn't damage that guy. By the way, um, you guys remember how I said I'm not a professional? I think this is pretty obvious. <laughs> All right, so we have our front wheel, which is a race face effect R3. 
30. We've got some Maxxis, a Maxxis DHF on the front. And then on the rear wheel, we also have a Maxxis Minion DHR2 on a Race Face Effect R30. And here's the thing I'm totally stoked on. That's right, it's finally time with the new GX Eagle. So I'm going Eagle. So there's a tip, Race Face Effect Wheels Eagle GX Drivetrain. And the fork, which I'm super jazzed on, is the new 2018 RockShox Lyric in the Murdered Out decal. So I've got a 2018 Lyric, got a GX SRAM drivetrain, and not just is this a Lyric, but it's the RTC3 Lyric. So I bet you're wondering, what bike is this? Well, it's time to introduce it. It's blue. That's right, it is the 2018 Evil Reckoning GX build. That's right, I have gone full carbon, which to me is unbelievable because I never expected to be able to have a bike as nice as this. To say it lightly, this bike is absolutely sweet. And if you would have told me a year ago, heck, even if it's six months ago, that I would be um, owning and riding an Evil Reckoning, I wouldn't believe you. Uh, it's just not really in my price range. Uh, if you've seen my channel, you know I'm all about cheap mountain bikes and that's what I'm still gonna stay true to. But uh, a couple of people really stepped up and helped me out in huge ways. You know who you are, so thank you so much. Um, and I'm just so lucky to be able to have a bike like this. All right, so that's it for this video. I'm gonna go build up this bike and you better believe you're gonna see it once it's done. I'm gonna do a full review on the Reckoning. And I'm gonna compare this bike to the other two bikes I looked at. Living in Bellingham, I'm able to demo the awesome Kona Process 15329er and the Transition Sentinel just a few blocks away with rentals. So you're gonna have a lot of updates on this bike. I can't wait to talk more about it. But until then, that's it for me today. Go get outside, get off YouTube, and please, like I always say, go ride your bike. And while you're at it, make sure you go and do it every single day.